Pole mounted transformers are extremely common in North America at the distribution level. And these transformers are either single phase, as the one that we are looking at now, right now, or as a three phase. Now, the three phase comes in two different configurations. It's either as the one that we are looking at right now, which is a single unit three phase. And you can see here that it is just one tank that has all the windings. And we can see here the three phase conductors are connected through the high voltage pushing to that transformer. Or to have the configuration as a bank of a three single phase transformers. So here the three phase is composed of the three separate units. The question is, which one is better? to have the three-phase transformer as one single unit or three separate units. If that question of interest to you, please join me in a small presentation to describe the differences between these two configurations. Hi everyone, and so let's answer this question. Which one is better, a bank of three single-phase transformers or just one unit that has the three phase as you can see here which one is better and as a matter of fact each design has its own advantages as we will see so for uh, having everything inside one unit these are the two main advantages first the cost will be less by around 15 percent why the cost is less? Because now I have only one tank instead of three different tanks. The amount of oil will be less. The amount of uh, core will be less. So overall, the cost of the transformer will be, will be less. Second, the space. Because having three different units is, will take more space than if we have only one just unit. So these are the basic two important advantages of having the transformer as one unit. However, there is a big advantage of using three separate units. And to understand this, imagine what will happen if we have a failure of this type of transformer. When one of the phases failed, one of the phases failed in this single unit, so as you can see here, although it is only one phase that is failed, but the whole transformers need to be scrapped because you cannot really uh, try to save the rest of the transformers. The cost, even if the failure is was only contained in one phase, the cost to remove this phase, to change the core, to uh, remove the oil, add a new oil, will be more than the cost of a new transformer. So once one of the phases failed, you have to scrub the whole unit. Now, when it comes to the three single unit, it's totally different because let's see that this phase failed. This is the one that is failed. What will happen? Either I will substitute this one. So I will take it out and bring a new phase or a new, a new unit because the other two units was not affected because they are separate. And also while, while doing this, and this is another advantage, I can run the uh, bank as what we call open delta configuration. So this is the delta configuration. So the delta is three phases. So basically I will remove that unit. So I will have what they call open delta or V configuration. So still we will have the the three phase but in open delta and the total output power is will be equal to 57.7 of the rated power of the three phase transformers now you can google that and you can see all the mathematical derivation for that that's not the focus of this uh, series of, of, of videos but you can understand now that each one each type of connection has its own advantages having one single three phase unit Cost is less, space is less. But if a fail, failure happen to one of the phases, then the three single units will be will be better.